to our mini convention series where we give you detailed yet quick videos to help guide you at this year's NFTA convention and expo in New Orleans. I'm Morgan Schlender with NFTA, and I will be shooting out a series of questions to our director of convention events and meetings, Christy Clemens. Hi, Morgan. Hi. So we are here to venture down what to pack, what to wear, and some tips, New Orleans style, 2024. Whether it's your first time or you haven't been in a long time, we have you covered. So I'm going to start with a pro tip. I remember convention 2015, Indiana. Take it from me, pack shoes that are broken in. Mm, that is a good one. Um, I'm going to jump in with another. Hydrate. Agree. <laughs> Bring a reusable water bottle. There are Phillips stations all over the convention center. And with the amount of walking you'll be doing, you'll thank us later. For sure. I agree with you, Christy. So now we're going to jump in with some questions. Christy, as I'm packing my suitcase, what should I throw in to wear for workshops and the expo floor? You'll be safe wearing business casual attire, but you will see folks in business attire. Just remember, while it might be warm outside, it tends to be cool in workshop rooms. So plan accordingly. Great. So, all right. What about the casual stuff, the events, the parties? What am I throwing in my suitcase for those? Yeah, the fun stuff. Yes. All right. Uh, the welcome party is at Mardi Gras World, and it's super casual. The weather in late October typically ranges from the low 70s to the high 80s, so dress accordingly at night. If you're invited to the, attend the Funeral Service Foundation's donor reception, I'd pack something a bit more dressy or business attire. The Funeral Professionals Young and New event is very casual. You'll be going on an outdoor walking tour at night, so comfort is your friend. Lastly, the International Reception leans towards dressy and business again. I'd say no jeans for that one. That makes sense. So now that we've touched on the attire, what advice do you have to keep your energy up for early mornings and those late nights? Well, Morgan, as we both know, as moms of young children, you don't go anywhere without snacks. Sure. <laughs> there are concessions on site, but sometimes having a granola bar in your bag during a workshop is going to go a long ways. Speaking of bags, do I need to bring a bag or a backpack of my own? Heck no. NFDA has you covered. Each registrant can help themselves to an NFDA backpack located near the badge printing kiosks. They're great for snacks, water bottles, band-aids, swag you pick up on the expo hall, or even to toss in an extra pair of shoes. And don't forget your business cards. You never know who you're going to meet. Great tip. And now our last question. Okay. What if I have to bring my luggage to the convention center? Good question. We will have complimentary coat and luggage check available. Just check the app for location and hours. Thank you, Christy. And thank you for answering all of my questions. And if you guys missed any of our other videos, we cover topics from registration to the expo hall, to hotels, shuttles, check them all out. And on that note, I want you all to come find me in the expo hall. I have an NFDA rejuvenation booth and you can come get a free massage. And I'll also tell you all of my favorite hotspots in the Big Easy. You probably might have a hard time finding Christy though, unless you can catch up with her speed walking, behind the scenes, putting fires out. Hey, don't knock the process. I get at least 20,000 steps a day. Okay, that is really good exercise. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining our convention talk on what to pack and what to wear. We cannot wait to see you all in New Orleans. Please check out our other videos for more important tips and info. As always, please call us at NFCA headquarters if you need anything at all and take care. See you next time.